that they've been doing challenging the orders that have been sent out by the new president. It's like whole person care, right? If I go to the doctor and I complain about something and give me a medicine, but that's really not going to fix me if there's something wrong systemically, endemically. Well, it took an organized effort, hundreds of years, where we were a protected class under the 14th Amendment. My people are being banned from this country. My neighbors are getting stabbed. But in the moment, like, I really want to make sure I don't get stabbed when I'm out walking the street just for being brown. I began to organize with other young people. What I learned is that we all have a story. It wasn't going to be me that was going to change anything. But the organizing was allowing me to work with people to recognize their own power. So civil liberties and the fights for civil liberties and the fights for civil rights are revealing something to us. I've seen that it's really important to be able to speak up and say that something is wrong. Even when it may appear the president is against you, the legislature is against you, the Supreme Court, it doesn't matter that they're against you. What is really important and what's so fantastic is the power of the people is more powerful than all that stuff.